Welcome to my channel, my name is London, and today I wanted to do a little test with some Tom Ford and Fenty. I do have both of them on my cheeks, so let me know down in the comments which one you think is which, but I received this in an influencer Vox box, so this is gifted to me. This is the Tom Ford, oh, it's got a long name, Shade and Illuminate in the shade Intensity 0.5. I really like Tom Ford and you guys know I've been obsessed with cream products this whole entire year and that kind of like dewy look. So I got sent this and upon first using it, I felt like it was really similar to my Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. So I put them to the test, but there is a huge price difference this Tom Ford product is $88 and depending on where you live with tax, that's pretty much $90, $90 right here. And this doesn't have a ton of product in it. I believe for both products, it is 14 grams or 0.49 ounces. I'll let you guys look at that. It's really hard for me to pay attention to grams and all of that stuff, but the Fenty cream bronzer. This is how much product is in there. And this one is $32. And then you guys know I've been really in love with this. This is their pearl matchstick, which is their balm matchstick. And this one has 5.5 grams in there. You guys can do the math because I hate doing math. And this is $25. So I already had these and I was like, let's Put this on my face and do a test. All right, so I just swatched out both of them on my hand right here. So take a guess of which one you think is which. I think they look so similar, but this side is the Tom Ford side and this side is the Fenty side. Tom Ford does have a little bit more of a silver and I can't tell if this is just like leftover like foundation or what the heck, but um, I did wipe it off before I swatched it, but it's definitely more of a warm color to it. So let me know if you want the $90 side or the $25 side, but let's get into trying everything out and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, let me know what your favorite cream bronzer is and your favorite products from Tom Ford and Fenty. All right, let's go. Naked face. All right, it is time to test out these products, Fenty versus Tom Ford. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna use my trusty Fenty Beauty 125 face brush. This is my all time favorite brush for all of my cream products that I have. It works just amazing. So I'm going to start off with the Fenty one and Butter Biscuit. This one I have used to death. I love this. And I do have powder on my face, but the Fenty bronzer seems to work over powder or just regular foundation. I'm using the Naked Stay Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. Ooh, I love this color. Look at that. So pretty. I love bronzer. I literally could go without blush and just have bronzer. I don't know. Bronzer and me just get along. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of feather this into my hairline. All right, so Fenty bronzer is on. My hair is everywhere. Oh my gosh. So this is what the Fenty bronzer looks like. I'll zoom you guys in in a second when I have the other one on. And now we have Tom Ford. I don't know if I said it already, but this is in the shade 0.5. Really expensive. I've only used this twice so far, but already I feel like 
they just look so similar oh my gosh i've always been so afraid to try tom ford because they're so expensive i never want to fall in love with anything and have to like repurchase it all the time <laughs> they they go on pretty similarly i feel like they have I feel like the Fenty Cream does have a little bit more luminescence to it, even though I put powder down. But what do you guys think? Can you tell a difference from far away? I think they look pretty dang similar. But now let's zoom you guys in. So this is the Tom Ford side, and this is the Fenty side. I do think Fenty just has a little bit more luminescence to it, but I mean, you could always just put a little powder over it if you don't like the kind of more dewy look. But as far as coloring goes, I feel like they look pretty dang similar. I'm going to wipe this brush off a little bit. I have a little bit of a natural hollow in my cheek right here so if i put bronzer down a little too far then it all right now let's try out this dew so i'm going to use the fenty match stick and pearl this is the like balm stick i did a whole video review on it i absolutely love this amazing so i'm just going to use it like i normally would and I like to kind of tap it and then I'll get a little bit on my finger, warm up the product and then I kind of go and precisely tap it in. Oh, I love the dewy glow. I have been obsessed with the dew. And now for Tom Ford, I'm just going to use it with my finger because it's not really in a stick and it does take a little bit of warming up versus a Fenty one I feel like stays pretty creamy. All right this one I feel like has a little bit more of a like a white cast to it. This one looks a little bit more clear. This one has a little bit more of that like white luminescence in there. All right. All right. I mean, these look pretty dang similar. I really don't feel like you would notice that much of a difference if you're like walking around. I do prefer this side just because I feel like the clear kind of melts in with the bronzer versus this side kind of shows up more like a highlighter on the face so we have the tom ford side and the fenty side what do you guys think what side do you like better it's really hard to make a decision that's why i'm making this video because you guys need to help me out <laughs> but i'm gonna go off camera and do my eyeshadow and everything and i'll come back and let you guys know what my thoughts are. All right, guys, I just got done with all of my makeup and I've let the bronzer and everything kind of sit and soak into my skin. And the Fenty one has faded a bit. It's kind of like soaked in to my skin. And this one is still pretty popping on my face. If you guys can see, Ignore my hair. It's like really curly in the back. It's humid outside and my hair just doesn't want to cooperate with me today. So excuse my hair. But yeah, I do think the bronzer shades look really similar on my face. Um, but the balm probably would last longer on your skin on the Tom Ford side. We'll see. I'm going to wear this for a little bit and I'll come back for a check-in to see how everything looks. I do have to wear a face mask, so we shall see. All right, y'all. It's been about five hours with the bronzers and I feel like they're both looking pretty good. 
They're both wearing the same way. None of it is like fading or anything weird, but this highlighter on the Tom Ford side is definitely still rocking it. And the Fenty one has faded a little bit, but as far as the last check-in, it hasn't really done any other like fading. But I did want to test out something. I do have the Anastasia uh loose highlighter in snowflake and i did want to just kind of try putting this over top of the fenty highlighter because this is pretty fine what do you guys think i don't think it has the same amount of a well maybe i just need a little bit more what do you guys think <laughs> Well, I definitely like this highlighter more, but it all depends on your preferences because I know some people don't really like a highlighter or if silver doesn't really look good on your skin tone, then you probably would like the Fenty one more. But let me know what you guys think. I love my Fenty cream bronzer, but $90 for a bronzer and a highlighter, that's a lot of money. So, I mean... Both are more on the high-end spectrum, but the Fenty side sounds better to my wallet. <laughs> Just say. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little testing out. My eyelashes did not make it all the way to this part of the day. If you were wondering about my eyelashes, I'll have that, that video right here for you guys. Water-activated eyelashes. I think you know how that went. <laughs> And then this video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel.